Hey guys, so I have not vlogged today, but um, as you guys know, in my last video, I said I wasn't on track for a few days. In total, I think I was off track about six days and I decided to weigh myself today and it's like I have debated back and forth do I even want to post this but it's part of my life it's part of what I've opened you guys up to and so I'm going to show it so um here is me weighing myself today all right you guys so I have not weighed myself since being off track I currently have the water running so it has time to get warm because it does take a minute well it has time to get hot because I like a hot shower so that's what you hear in the background so let's Weigh in, I'm definitely nervous. Hello, it's ready. Okay. Stepping on. 500.6 pounds. 500.6. Wow. Um, okay. I, mm. I need to go cry. So that's very unfortunate. I am back in the 500s and it's just like, I'm super swollen. I know I am. Like, I feel it in my legs. Not once did I, like, binge or anything like that. I do want to make that very well known that I just, like, overate every single day because my body was really, truly just, like, getting used to and, like, adapting to the fact that I was eating below 2,000 calories. And then, bam, out of nowhere for almost a week, I stopped doing that. And I'm going to say I was probably eating about 3,000 calories a day. And my body is like, whoa. So it's, you know, I've gained weight in sodium, I've gained weight in weight and fat and water, whatever it may be. But like, since I do have lipedema and lymphedema, um, my body holds on to water and fluid very, very easily. So I'm holding on to a lot right now. So me gaining that much weight in such a short amount of time for some people would be very shocking for like the normal person. It's not possible unless you're eating so many calories, it's insane. But someone like me, it's rather easy for that to happen, especially because when I was losing weight, like my legs haven't felt that amazing in so long. And what I mean by that is like I had less fluid and like water retention than I've had in years and it was just feeling so good. It was becoming like just easier to walk and just do things in general now like that I've gained like 10 pounds, like I feel that in my legs more than I feel it anywhere else. Um, I'm holding on to a lot of fluid currently, so it just sucks and I'm not happy about it, but I wanted to be transparent. And as you guys know, that is what I'm currently going through. Good morning, everybody. I woke up with Rarity laying on top of me. Look at her cuteness and her cute little paw, her cute little face. Oh. Yeah, that's a cute little face right there. Hey guys, so I'm not fully done getting ready for the day. I want to wear my hair down. I do want to wear lipstick and stuff, but I did want to just come on here and tell you guys I did weigh myself today because I got back on track yesterday and I'm feeling really good about it. So I want to add that here. Okay, so it is the next day after being back on track. So let's see how the scale has reacted to that. It's ready. Okay, stepping on. 498.2 pounds. 498.2. Thank the Lord. So I lost two pounds. Okay. I am very happy with that. All right. Is the boogeyman in here today? Don't mess with me. Do not mess with me. There's a rumor that I wear, that I wear, <laughs> what? That I use slimming filters. I promise. <laughs> Your girl be looking this big in person too. Okay, I feel like it's a compliment in a weird way. Cause it's like, why would people think that? But literally all I do is I film on my um, phone. I have an iPhone by the way. So I film on my phone and then I edit on iMovie and that's literally it. Like there's no filters. But then when I start hearing, oh, Amber Lynn is using skinny filters. I start to think like, do I look <laughs> like a little smaller than usual? Like, I don't know what's happening, but I know I look like a frumpy mess today. I kind of feel like a frumpy mess if we're being honest here. But no matter how much I say it that I'm not using a filter, no one's gonna believe that. Um, the only time I use a filter, like especially like when I post 
uh, photos and stuff is like the devil horns. But that's just like a fun filter that I just enjoy using. Um, I have been better about taking unfiltered photos. That's just like a, a me problem, you know, just like a self-conscious me problem. But I have been becoming more like confident in myself lately. And I think it's because I am, you know, loving myself more. And I feel like the only way you can change and be a better you is if you love yourself. Because if you hate yourself, why are you going to want to fix yourself? You're not going to be able to find that why when you're in the middle of hating yourself because I know for me I wasn't able to like improve as a person until I started to love myself and find that self-love because once you start to care about something that's when you start to water it a little bit more and nourish it a little bit more in the way that you're supposed to. That's something I'm working on and I'm trying to actively like improve on that every single day so you know it's just a journey folks but yeah no slimming filters here definitely no filters to like, people say I'm using like skin filters too. Nah, this is my skin. I just have foundation on, so. <laughs> people were saying that about Chantel too. <laughs> it's a lot of like, you know, everyone watches me and Chantel. You know, the reactors react to me and Chantel and it's a lot of the same rumors. We both use, you know, slimming filters. We both lie about our weigh-ins and rig the scale. And it's just a lot of the same nonsense, but I'm not gonna be a part of that. I simply know who I am and that's all that matters so okay so my plans for today I'm actually going to be babysitting my step niece and nephew so I'm getting ready to leave now so I'm just grabbing my purse and I also have to stop by USPS to mail off some important things so that's what I'm doing okay so I just had my sunglasses on so that's why you see the little sunglass marks literally hate that okay so the usps like the guy was parked right next to a little like drop slot thingamajigger so i just handed my actual like envelopes to him and then as we were pulling out like me and my mom we both like equally have like weird anxieties and like paranoias and we were like why is he even sitting there so then we were like should we go ask him so we ended up going back in and then when we realized he actually is a USPS worker because he was like taking all of the um, things out of the little area where we like drop our stuff in. You know what I'm talking about? What is that thing called? I don't even know what it's called. But it's just weird because me and my mom like have the same weird anxieties. We were like, wait a minute. Like when we pulled away, we're like, who the heck? And why the heck? And why did we just give it to him so easily? I don't know. It was like a whole thing. Do you guys relate to that type of anxiety? My hands up, mom. The wonders. <laughs> I'm a professional. A professional what? Guitarist. Guitarist? Yep. <laughs> professional badass. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so I have been home for a little bit. I had a great time. Now I'm just chilling like a villain. No, I'm actually editing this video and I'm gonna schedule it for two days from now because I uploaded a video today or day after tomorrow. Yeah, that's in two days. <laughs> I really do wanna try uploading more for you guys. And I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job so far. Like, especially in this last like week or a little over a week, I feel like I've been doing pretty good. It's just been a hard time like vlogging. I don't know. Like it seems like when I have more going on in life, I film less. I don't know what that's about and I need to figure it out. I need to figure out a balance. Okay, you guys, so my TDEE -E has been a very popular topic lately. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's literally just like a little calculator where you put your height, your weight, and your gender, and it comes up with a calorie limit that'll help you lose weight. But people are forgetting about everything else that goes into how easy it is for someone to lose weight and the amount of calories that they need to lose weight. So I kind of want to explain that to you guys. And the best way for me to do it is to do it on paper. So, as you guys know, I'm about 500 pounds. And when I put just those simple things, 500 pounds, I'm 5'3", and I'm a female, it comes up that I need 2,900 calories to lose weight. And as you guys know, I have expressed this so many different times, that eating 2,900 calories makes me gain weight. It does not make me lose weight. 
And then people call me a liar, but I would like to explain why. So when I saw the lipedema specialist, she told me, estimation, I have about 150 pounds of lipedema on my body. Large portions of that is on my legs, especially my calves. But that weight is not taken into account when you go into a TDEE calculator. So with 150 pounds of lipedema, I cannot lose that weight by lessening my calories. I cannot lose that weight probably ever unless I get it surgically removed or I have the fat literally sucked out of me. So that would mean, let's just say I put 350 calories in the TDEE calculator because 500 minus 150 is 350. So that comes out to 2,100 calories, which I have explained several times that that is about the amount where I lose weight. That is why I tell you guys, I try to stay below 2000 calories and people are like, that's too little, I don't get it. She could eat so much and lose weight. That's not how it works. Plus, I have <laughs> done a lot of yo-yo dieting, which is not taken into account when you do the TDEE calculator. I have a very low metabolism for several reasons. Not only that, but I, have gone through menopause at a very young age due to uterine cancer. And when your estrogen decreases, it causes weight gain. It does for a lot of people. And my hormone levels, let's let's not even look into that because the TDEE calculator does not care. Due to me having uterine cancer and having a full hysterectomy, my hormone levels are crazy out of whack which all of these things affect weight loss, weight gain, your weight in general, and how many calories you need to eat to lose weight. So have you guys ever seen a skinny person eat tons of food with little to no activity, but they never gain weight? Well, that's because every single body is different. And not only that, but there is metabolic rate testing. And the reason why they have that is because everyone is different. So it's a machine where you literally just blow your oxygen into the machine and it'll tell you exactly how many calories you need to eat to lose weight. And they do that because of all of these reasons. There are so many people who go through these things and they can't lose weight quick enough. They don't understand what they're doing wrong because of things like a TDEE calculator who only want simple things like your gender, your height and your weight, but never takes into account everything else. There are so many other reasons why it's hard for people to lose weight. And it's like some people have thyroid problems. Thankfully, I don't. But this is why when people tell me about the TDE calculator, I, I simply roll my eyes because there's so much more to it than just the gender and height that I am. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.